Management thinker Peter Drucker is often quoted as saying that you can't manage what you can't measure. Drucker means that you can't know whether or not you're successful unless success is defined and tracked. You not only need to measure performance so you can improve it, but you also need to be able to instantly spot weaknesses in your company. Use the visual dashboard to display a wide variety of key performance metrics. You can either create your own metrics or use predefined system metrics. On my dashboard, I have a wide variety of things. For example, I have my tasks, those things that are waiting for my approval or review. I also have some information here from supply chain. I have some things from manufacturing. I also have some metrics or analytics from, from sales. You may have multiple dashboards. You can simply open additional dashboards that you've set up for, for yourself. Now, each individual user may be watching very different analytics based on their responsibilities and duties. These need to be analytics that are important to each of those users. Because they're important, one of the options here as a preference is to open that dashboard as soon as you log into Visual. Come in in the morning, log into Visual, immediately your dashboard opens and you can see all of those areas that you are to be tracking. Now most of my analytics are those, those predefined system metrics. Only one of these is, uh, is a metric that I created. Let's just add another metric. We'll say add an analytic. We'll choose from the system analytics. And oh, maybe this time I want to add um, open accounts payable. And how do I want to see that? Well, do I want to see that, oh, by vendor? Maybe I do. How do I want that grouped? I think I'll look at this by week and I want to look at it over the course of a month, let's say. We'll apply that and see what we get. There we go. So now I'm seeing um, now I'm seeing that information, a couple of different vendors, not much activity with one particular vendor. Maybe I'll make that change that grouping just a little bit. and say I want to see that, oh, a little bit differently. Ah, now I'm drilling into a, to a very different um, analytic. So as you, or seeing that in a very different way. As you can see, I have some choices once I've established an analytic as to how I'm displaying it this time without going back to the drawing board and, um, and recreating that particular analytic. Now, once I have that, um, that item on my dashboard, I'll simply place it. There are some tools here to help you automatically uh, place and size analytics, but I kind of like to break mine up. So let's just, let's do that. Let's say I want to share this space with this analytic. We'll put it there, add it in, make it prettier. Remember, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so what I think is pretty may be different from what you think is pretty. Uh, so these are the analytics that I'm watching. Now, they're more than pictures, not just pretty pictures. These are there to give me information at a glance. So I'm getting that, uh, you know, pictures worth a thousand words. I'm getting that information, those things I should be watching. Here's late deliveries. I may want to look closer at that. Uh, here on sales bookings, that first quarter is considerably higher than, um, than the others. Maybe I want to start to break that down. And instead of looking at it by quarter, I want to look at that by month. Let's take a peek at that. Yeah, that tells a little bit different story. Let's put, go ahead and put it back to my favorite, which was quarter, uh, but adjust those analytics, adjust, adjust by date, adjust by different parameters. Now, more than just pretty pictures, I can get to those details. If I want more information about these January bookings, I'm going to click on that. Now I have a detailed grid. When you see things that look like grids in, in visual, columns and rows, 
If you, for whatever reason, need to take that out to Excel, go ahead and do it right there. Just click on that button and you'll be taking that information to Excel. This also acts the way you would expect it to act. For example, <coughs> maybe I want to uh, sort this by amount ordered. I want the highest, the largest bookings on top so I can look at those first. Maybe I want amount ordered way over here. Um, so make those changes, save those changes, and, and you'll, you'll have your preferences next time you come in. This is a summary of those bookings. If I want additional information about this customer, I will simply drill here and go right to the customer record. If I want information about this customer order or that particular booking, I'll click here to go into that customer order. If I want information about any materials that have been ordered, I click on that part number and go there. So now here we are right to the detail of that particular booking where I can see any information that's there, um, information around activities, notes, documents that might be attached, approvals that may have been made, approvals that are pending, and such. So use the dashboard for looking at your key performance metrics for putting that information right into the hands of your of each of your users so that you're sure that they are watching and monitoring those things that they need to be paying attention to and that there's a clear indicator of anything that's outside of tolerance um, with things like color here with late orders.